this was perhaps one of the strongest hurricanes in the whole history of the universe. And Noah P3s went through it uh, because they're the only hurricane hunters out there. The, the only and ones. It was, it was, there's no other ones. And it was a bumpy ride. And Douglas will show us. That's not the camera being slow, folks. That's how slow it is. That's how slow P3 actually <laughs> is. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone's leaning forward. Faster. They have Kermit the Frog that's being hung from a noose. That's probably bad. That's bad. That, you can't do that. Is that the not easy navigator or the engineer that's doing the throttles? That would be yep. the flight engineer. So they have no auto throttles. They have no, just one man who does he's the it. form. The hat he is, is kind of a giveaway. Oh, he's got an engineer hat like he's like a train conductor. Well, it is a P3, man. Oh, oh boy. oh boy. It's called turbulence. Oh boy. Oh. I feel like they should wear helmets. <laughs> I mean, the, the guy holding the camera, he, he must be in a jump seat strapped in, man, because... Man, look he's, at poor uh, Kermit, dude. That guy, he's, he's done. Well, Kermit's been dead for a while. That's, <laughs> that's, Kermit's not having a good day. <laughs> Boy, it's a good thing there are only hurricane hunters. Yeah, no kidding. Man. Without them. Without those Noah guys. Whew. Without those the Noah gals. guys. For legal reasons, this is a joke, by the way. Everybody that is going to comment and correct me, <clears throat> right. uh, that was just a joke. I, I am aware there are other ones out there. <laughs> um, okay, weather intern, Reverend, <laughs> tell us your thoughts well, on what and... you just watched. As a unprofessional photographer, the first thing I would, would say is <laughs> that any th time you are flying through a, a, a significant portion of turbulence like that and you are holding your phone or other recording device, it will shake a lot. It, it'll <laughs> shake a lot if you're just driving down the highway and, uh, you know, just a little bit of bumps like that. So that will always uh, accentuate the, the perceived turbulence flying through the storm. Uh... So you're saying it looks worse than it is. Uh, yeah. And, you know, if you're looking at that video, they're, they're very obviously in the eye of the hurricane and approaching the, the edge there. And that's mm -hmm. that's not where you'd expect in a hurricane to, to see that turbulence. Um, mm -hmm. At least that's from my amateur right, perspective. Um, right. From what you've read. A Twitter is... enthusiast. Uh, <laughs> yes. So, and I'm going to ask this question. Do you think there's a rivalry amongst hurricane teams, much like Anchorman? It's... Like, do they go out in parks <laughs> and fight each other? Like, is there a Noah versus perhaps Air Force <laughs> hurricane hunters rivalry? I didn't spend all that money on a Trident for nothing. <laughs> dude, that's funny. Oh, dude. Uh, but seriously... I mean, first of all, I mean, I feel for those people that got hit with that hurricane because, I mean, Jamaica, did he, did, I, where yeah, it hasn't dude. been much out, did it just get leveled? Is it? The the western side of Jamaica did see very, uh, very severe damage. Uh, the, the things I've seen online are, are really comparing it to a, a high-end tornado almost with the, the level of destruction, whether yeah. that is from mesocyclones which are essentially small tornadoes that are uh, embedded in the eye wall of the hurricane or just the sheer strength of uh hurricane melissa can't really speak to that but uh it it did really uh really level a lot of uh, a lot of towns in in western jamaica wait did, did you, you say there's tornadoes inside the hurricane yeah so off, yeah. you know it's it's kind of wow. like a sharknado but but even better is that in the eye wall of the hurricane You'll have what the weather folks, um, the paid weather folks would call uh, mesocyclones, uh, which is is really like a water spout or a or tornado that's there embedded in the eye wall. And you, you'll see those as as hurricanes make interaction with land, those those type of things will spin up and they can cause uh, an exceptional level of damage because they're even tighter, uh, more rapid winds that are that are in there, making a bad day even worse. Wow. 
is it true that they registered 211 or 210 200 plus mile an hour winds at one point in that uh, I, I saw that on on twitter uh mm-hmm. you know of course i i don't have any of personal knowledge of, course, of yes, that no not not direct i'm just asking what you've heard through but, the grapevine but yes i i i heard a, a rumor from a friend who saw someone at 31 flavors it takes cousins, pictures yeah. uncles told them is this is it true yeah, I think think so. It it sounded like the, that that uh, that did happen. I mean, if you can't trust what you see yeah. on on Twitter, who can you trust? But there yeah, was an I, I would amazing. Say it's probably pretty true. On, speaking of Twitter, there was an amazing picture of the eye wall taken by some amateur photographer. I I, I got to say, I saw that myself. Um, obviously, a a must be a ruggedly handsome professional um, who is extremely. <laughs> capable in his craft no doubt a extraordinarily professional aviator um i saw that online um and and i had to marvel at it as as we all did uh <laughs> so if you want to know what ai thinks flying cowboy is a nickname for the crew member who captured stunning footage of the eye wall and eye of the recent hurricane melissa the term flying cowboy is a reference to their daring mission which included flying through the eye wall the storm's most dangerous part, where wind speeds are highest, to gather data. Hmm. The eye wall surrounds the hurricane, hurricane's calm eye and is characterized by towering thunderstorms and heavy rain. Flying cowboy and dogfight, brother. Hmm. What a combo. Flying cowboy <laughs> of justice. Boy, I wish we could get the flying cowboy on the show. Well, maybe, maybe someday you'll... Super... He's too good for us, man. He's too cool for us. He's too cool for school, I guess. I don't know. Uh, but yeah. I do have that picture, and I'd like to show it to you so you can perhaps lean on the rumors that you've heard about it and tell us what we're looking at. Could you do that for us? Tell yeah, us what yeah, Flying definitely. Cowboys I, saw. You know, I watched the Weather Channel last night. Um, so, oh, wow. yeah, that, that looks like uh, like the eye wall of a hurricane there. Um, mm-hmm. you know, that, Updraft. That There's one... like upflow, right? That's It's flowing. Some, some looks up. Yeah, if I understand it correctly, you get – the outflow that comes up the the, uh, the eye and then out and then you'll see kind of uh, waves of that the the outflow going out from the storm you, you can really just see that on the satellite view um, mm-hmm. if you were to take that picture would you use the bubble uh, you know ideally yeah if i were going to be taking that kind of picture i would definitely want to use a bubble in the top of the plane um because mm-hmm. there is a bubble always... c-130's got an observation bubble i learned this Mm. Did did I forget now? Did did was that in place uh, when you had your Herc ride? The mm-hmm. the hostage crisis. Put the three sixty camera. That's the we. That's how we oh, got the cool shot of it flying over when they were shackling. That's right. That's very cool. Gonky, you should go ride on a C one thirty one day. I should. <clears throat> I'd love to. I mean, I would, but I I'm not sure any C one thirty is going on right now. So we well, have no opinion on these matters. No, I know. That's what I'm saying. So the next opportunity, I'll jump on it. Okay. Manchester. Um, <laughs> all right. Thus ending our scripture lesson. Thank you, Reverend, for uh, that information <laughs> on that storm. I'm, dude, I'm still like that flight engineer. That, that monkey yeah. in the throttle is like that. That's pretty wild. Is that worse? Let me ask you this, Gonky. Hmm. Is having a third dude or dudette running your throttles worse than when the tanker dudes hold hands when they're on the throttle. <laughs> I would yeah. rather have a flight engineer working for me because then it's just yeah. like auto throttles. Yeah. You're not touching anybody. Yeah. When like, I've seen the people holding hands on the throttle, yeah, that's, that's where weird. I draw the line. That's weird. Yeah. Yeah. No, you know, I, I think one area where having a, a flight engineer is potentially an advantage is, is you aren't going to be relying on auto throttles going through anything where you have mm-hmm. sudden changes in the wind where you can go from 100 knot headwind to 100 knot tailwind in just a matter of seconds. Mm-hmm. So, it you know, you could have a situation where both pilots are working to keep the aircraft a, a good attitude. And, you know, maybe it's nice to just have a, a third person who's solely watching the airspeed and the engine condition. Of course, the P3s uh, got a much more analog engine stack. And so in that case, a flight engineer is going to be really great to to be monitoring that engine stack going through uh, a very turbulent uh, experience. <laughs>